All right, guys, this is a discussion from last week uh, where you're standardizing the data set. I'm going to show you a couple ways to do it. One, we're going to do it in Excel, probably the easiest way, and then we'll also do it in uh, our calculator menu. All right, so uh, for Excel, if you're going to standardize the data set, you need to know the mean and the standard deviation. So the easiest thing to do, highlight your data set, come over here to the auto sum and just type uh, or click the down arrow and then just click average. All right, and there's our mean. It showed up below there. And then for standard deviation, just tar start typing standard deviation. So just typed equals ST and then standard deviation we need for a population for this. So double click there and then it says where's your data. Just come up there, highlight it, hit enter. So there's my mean and my standard deviation. Okay, now up right here beside the very first one, I'm going to type equals and I'm going to start typing standardize and then it shows up. I double click it. All right, and then it says, what's your X value? I'm just going to click this very first one here. And then it says, comma, mean, comma, standard deviation. So I'm going to click comma. Then I'm going to click, this is my mean, comma, this is my standard deviation. Now, before I close it out, the way Excel's um, menu does when you're going to use the, uh, the right corner and drag down, it starts dragging down from all three of these like it'll drag down to A2 and then A3 and then A4 from here but it'll also go down to A20, A21, A22 from here A21, A22, A23 from here if I don't want it to move for these last two which are the mean and standard deviation I need to put a dollar sign in here and go up to the formula up here don't try to do it here go up to the formula up here and put a dollar sign in front of the A and after the A and it locks in that value. All right, and then come and close it. Okay, and now when I click and I notice when I highlight that bottom right corner, it turns black. And then I can drag down all the way to the 90. All right, and then there's the um, standardized data set. Okay, if you want to make more uh, decimal places, you just move it over. All right, if you want to make less, you just move it over the other way. Okay, but I want to make um, just a standard cell size, so it's fine. And then just usually you round your z scores to two decimal places. All right, that's one way. Another way, I'm going to just come over here. All right, I've copied the data set again. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to find the mean and standard deviation just the same way I did before. All right, but now instead of doing the um, standardize notation like we did here, I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to type equals and I'm going to go through the formula for a Z score which is remember it's X or the measurement from the data set All right, minus the mean All right, here's the mean parentheses closed divide by the standard deviation so X minus mean divided by the standard deviation same thing as before because I don't want uh, to go below that value for the mean and standard deviation I put the dollar signs around the, the D there all right, and then same thing, just drag from the right corner down. All right, and it gives me the same thing, but it's doing it via the, the uh, formula for a z-score rather than um, uh, using that standardized menu. All right, both of them are fine, whichever way you want to do it. Um, but also the second part said find the mean and standard deviation of this. So just highlight it, come over here, average. All right, notice that is times 10 to the negative 16 so that's 15 leading zeros before this 4 that's a 0 All right, to get it to round to 0 you can just drag it to the right and we see it change to a 0 so that's a mean of 0 and then the standard deviation here just the same thing equals ST there's standard deviation P for population alright drag down through there alright don't include the, the mean in there all right, and then there's our standard deviation of one. Okay, I can do that for either data set. All right, now moving to the calculator. Calculator mimics this second way where we actually type in everything. Uh, the very first thing I'm going to do is after I found, or after I got my data set in there, I'm going to press second mode to come back to the home screen. All right, and then I'm going to run my one variable stats. So stat, come over to calc, and run one variable statistics. Hit enter. All right, there's my mean 
there's my standard deviation all right same thing that we got over here all right and now once you've done that these values the mean the sample standard deviation the population standard deviation sample size all that stuff is stored under vars statistics okay so there's the mean sample standard deviation population standard deviation which is what we need and there's sample size all that stuff is underneath there okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clear this out alright I'm gonna press parentheses I'm gonna start typing the formula for a z-score so x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation although I'm not gonna use x I'm gonna tell it where my x's are where my data is which is in list one so I'm gonna press second one for list one and then subtract the mean and the mean again is stored under vars statistics All right second one there's the mean so there's the x minus the mean and then remember we divide by the standard deviation so vars statistics this is standard deviation of a population so we're going to choose four All right, and then I could hit enter here but again I'm just going to press store second two for list two alright now I'm going to put the um, Z scores beside the actual data set so I hit enter All right, it gives me that very first one right there now if I hit stat and enter back into the editor there's my Z scores right beside of that okay and then I can do this part here the mean and standard deviation by pressing stat one of our stats but tell it list two since that's where my data is now All right, and then there we see the mean is zero standard deviation is one alright so that's a, a quick shortcut way to standardize data sets using Excel either the standardized feature in Excel All right, typing in a z-score and dragging that down or also again on your calculator using those list menus